Hello everyone, this is Zareen on Split Coast Stampers. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to use the Nestabilities dies with the Texture Boutique. I actually bit the bullet and bought them, if nothing else, for the embossing part, but I figured out what the heck and I try and figure out how to cut with them as well and I and I figured it out so I'm going to share that with you guys. You start off with your two plates that they give you and basically you have to kind of create your own sandwich to add to this in order to get it to cut. Uh, the one that I made was three pieces of cutting board plastic, the kind that you buy at Walmart, and on the inside is a piece of cork that came with my gasket kit. This is a very soft sandwich. Um, you could use a hard sandwich. This is kind of just what I had on hand. So you more or less do the same thing that you would do with your other die cutting machines. I found that I have to put my sheet of paper down with my die on top of it with the sharp side facing the hard plastic because this is soft. There's nothing, it's not hard enough to create resistance for the die to cut into it. And I just layer that on top, put my little plate on there, I grab my Texture Boutique. and start feeding it through. And I go all the way one way, you can hear it snap, and there goes my iron. I need to pick that up here in a second. And then I run it back through the other way. It's a little bit tough, <laughs> but you want to have a nice tight sandwich to run through because otherwise it's not actually going to cut. And here it is. It looks like it got a little bit loose, but it completely cut through. And of course it does make kind of a mess on your plates, but hopefully it'll last long enough with it cutting through. And of course you can also emboss with it. Here's my my rubber matting that I set. I turn it right side up, set the rubber matting on, and make a sandwich, of course. And, of course, everyone's um, texture boutique is different, so you might need to add a piece of paper in there, or this rubber might even be too big for yours. You kind of have to, to figure it out. Make sure I got this. Let's see, do I have it in the right way? I kind of forget which side needs to be down for this. I think that way. I'll figure it out here in a second. And this is actually much easier and quite simple. I mean, if you didn't want to cut with it, you could at least emboss with it. And voila! It's kind of hard to tell but it did in fact emboss the sides. Now I did at one point when I was first testing this out just trying to figure out how much I needed I took one of my other embossing folders and stuck it in there so I've got like a little bit of an indent so you might not want to do that. Uh, it's also possible, I don't really want to go out and try, but get one of the um, blank uh, folders that you can get from Cricut and it may even work just sticking the die on the inside and cutting it that way. Uh, I leave that up for somebody else to try. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's rather simple and so for those of you who bought the Texture Boutique but still kind of like the Nest Abilities, you can now use it with those. I don't know about um, the other brands of uh, dies from the other companies. They could possibly work with it. Some might be too thick. I don't know. Um, so somebody else can try that. Uh, thanks a lot.